Hey everybody, I hope that y'all are having a great day today. Thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. Today's video, I'm in a Hellcat and I'm platooning with War God and LB, a couple of my clan mates. And uh, we're on the Glazier map. And it was a pretty decent game. Um, I had four kills and then, man, I just got owned at the end. <laughs> and I got just owned at the end by an Artie. And uh, so what do you do? And you just suck it up and move on. <laughs> Let's roll, guys. So, yeah, you've had a really good game, and all of a sudden, everything just, just falls apart at the end. I don't know. Maybe it falls apart at the beginning, and then, you, you know, you've already moved on to the next game. I mean, it happens to all of us, you know. But when you get into like a, it really hurts when you're on a really good one and it falls apart. But, but that's part of it, you know, it's part of the game. You just take the good with the bad, like I said, and you just move on. But sometimes it's really hard to do because you got this thing called pride that gets in the way. And uh, just when you think you're really good, there's always somebody better than you that comes along or RNG or just pure dumb luck. You know, every dog has his day. Um, but all I can say is, you know, just don't give up, you know, just move on to the next one and try to have some fun. Because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, then what's the whole point of playing this stupid game, right? <laughs> I mean, I really like it, but sometimes I just kind of walk away from it because, you know, you just get aggravated. And uh, anyway, I'm moving into my spot. Enough about that. I'm moving into my spot I like to go to. Um, I don't know, it's my little comfort zone. Um, and I usually like to start here. And that's on the other side, usually where I go to if I'm on the other side. And I spot the STRV uh, tier 5 medium going up the hill. I managed to get a good shot on him. Yeah, but I can't get another one. Um, he manages to go dark before I could take another shot. So he got lucky. And um, I'm just looking to see if I can maybe get another shot. And there's an SU-100. And I do manage to get a good shot on him. Take away half of his hit points. So that's awesome. Um, now it's a sit and wait game and you can see our ELC BIS, our light tank has died within the first two minutes of the game and that's not cool um, Klaus Kellerman would really frown upon that play but again it is what it is you know he was doing his best he went up the hill got tangled up with the with the 150 the enemy light tank and he lost and um, as you can see uh, another thing you can see we got what five tanks headed to the um down the down the zero line and um trying to make a play you know and um and sure enough here comes the enemy's tanks we got a wolverine lit up right here now he's gonna have to cross this little open area where i can actually take a shot at him i'm backing up just a little bit so if i get lit up the enemy can't return fire and snipe me from the other side if they're in that other bush and so now it's just I'm just waiting to see if I can get a shot on it. I'm trying to see if I can light him up, um, but it's not going to happen. He's behind cover. Um, and there goes the Wolverine, and I miss him. I don't manage to connect with his tracks, and that's unfortunate. As you can see, the <laughs> I uh, I was looking back and forth to see who was going to make the first move. It was the was the Wolverine going to back up, or were all these guys going to try to push forward instead of uh, making y'all dizzy? <laughs> yeah, I locked them. I locked the uh, the reticle. Okay, so the KV one pushes forward, and I managed to get a good hit on him. And the AT-8 pushes forward, and I managed to get a nice hit on him. It looks like the PZ-4 uh, ran into the back of the AT-8, and he's dead. And my next shot actually hit the dead the dead PZ. Um, I'll take another shit. I just critical hit. And so the AT-8's backing up, which is very smart. And I managed to get one more hit on him before he manages to get himself back into cover. Our heavies are still managing to hang on up in the north. Um, 
our T1, KV2, and our OI went north. And unfortunately, they didn't get no support. It'd really been nice if one of our mediums had went with them. But it is what it is. They're all up here dying on this hill, on the on the zero line. As you can see, this little road can become a parking lot real quick. Um, interesting enough, they sent five tanks and we sent five tanks. So there's ten tanks tied up right here on this one road. And that was beautiful. Here comes the AT-8. He's going to make another push and he's going back to the barn. So that's awesome. Um, the STRV is not going to have none of it. And um, he's thinking about it, but it's like, there's what's the point? The Wolverine's just about to go back. He's just about dead. That's about the time I noticed the T-67 kind of trolling around down here. Um, very sneaky. And those little things are sneaky. For, you know, don't ever underestimate a T-67. It'll be an undoing. It's one of my favorite tanks to play for a reason. They're pretty good. Nobody's down there getting farmed, unfortunately. Now you see our, all our heavies are dead. And that means their heavies are going to be pushing up. Our, our T-67 is, is in position and so is our IKV-103. And they're set up to, to take on the, the heavies as they make their push across the ice. And I just managed to miss a shot on that at VK. And uh, he's pulling back into view but uh, he's caught me on a reload. I managed to get a good hit on him. And I get spotted. Um, at this point in the game, we're losing. And i definitely trying to stay already safe because um, the dude's on point, man. Our T-67 is, is making a move to get, I guess, to take take all these tanks coming at him. He takes a shot, and uh, I, I get a good hit on him. It almost looks like I missed him. Um, thank you, RNG. I'll take it. Get a good shot on him. And I managed to take out their T-1 Heavy. So, our T-67 pushed up and got himself killed. At this point, I'm, I'm looking at the mini-map, and I didn't realize that, that that last enemy tank heavy had been killed. And so I was coming over here to go look for him. Um, <coughs> kind of a little bit tax-saturated, just trying to look over my shoulder. Excuse me there. But yeah, I hadn't realized that the dude was dead. So I was coming over here to look for him. That's that was the whole purpose of me leaving and coming over here. And um I'm thinking he's down there, I'm waiting for him to pop up, you know. Like I'm thinking he's gone um gone dark, you know, but it, it, you know, sometimes you just I do the stupidest things. It's like if he was still there in his last known position would be it'd still be on the map, but it's not. But it hadn't registered in my head yet that this dude is dead. 
And then I finally got, you know, it finally dawned on me. Then this, this the VK medium popped up, and I managed to get a shot on him. And so now it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm an idiot. So now I've got to get off this ice and, and get back into cover, because I'm 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 just free pickings for their T67. And there's a T-67 like right on cue. He's in cover. Um, like I said, man, a T-67 is a beast. Don't ever underestimate it. And uh, he's lucky I, I couldn't get aimed on him. He, he would probably put two shots in me before I could get aimed. So I wasn't even going to try. It's just a waste. It's a futile effort at this point. You know, he's a one shot, but you know, that thing just sits there and plinks away at you, plinks away at you. I've killed plenty of Hellcats in my T-67. You know, I do have War God back there in, uh, in the arty giving me support. So I'm just waiting, waiting to see if this T-67 is going to make a mistake. And lucky for me, he does. So he's dead. And that's awesome. Now it looks like the VK is out in the open. He's looking straight at me, probably on a reload. Um, and now I'm thinking, okay, cool. This is game over. I got this. No problem running into rocks. Um, it's been a busy game, you know. Now I'm thinking, I'm just going to run over here and I'm going to kill this already. Not a problem. I've done it hundreds of times. And I know pretty much exactly where he's sitting. There's usually only two places they go on this map. But at the same time, I'm thinking I'm not going to approach him from straight, you know, from where he's expecting me to come from. I figure I'll come in from this other side over here and kind of sneak up on him. And in my mind, this all makes sense. Like, this is the right thing to do. Um, because if I was the Artie, I would be expecting me to come straight at, you know, that's usually what most people do. They just go straight, straight to, you know, straight towards where the Artie would be. And the Artie's just ready to shotgun you. But I figured I'd come this way and try to sneak up on him. I mean, Hellcat does have good, you know, um, well, it's on the move. It ain't no light tank, you know. And the mistake that I'm about to make is I should have went up the hill to my right right there. That's where I should have went. But for some reason, like a retard, I decided I was getting the enemy base and let, let them know that I'm here. So that was a really, really bad play on my part. And at this point, I'm like, man, I am not going to go in there. He knows I'm there. He knows where I'm coming from. Bro, God, War God managed to get a hit on him, which is, which is awesome. But I figured, well, I'll just go sit in the cap. He's got to come out. Um... My mistake, you know, I was too close, but you know, I figured, and I'm thinking, okay, cool, I get a shot on him, and boom, <laughs> and he kills me with high explosives right there. Otherwise, he's got like three hit points left. So, Dimka 1997, man, good job, dude. That was well played on your part. You did everything right, man, and I just, I just blew it at the end. So, um. But yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> that's that's world of tanks. That's RNG. That's bad play on my part, and good play on his part resulted in him and me seeing a burning smoking hole on the enemy base. But what do you do? Now it's down to War God, and now you're gonna get to see a uh, 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 an Artie duel. Of course, War God he takes off and he's headed over there, and and sure enough, there's 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 a, the M44. Of course, War God misses, and he doesn't. The M44 hits him. I mean, this dude's pretty good. He's on point, like I said, man. The guy's on point. Um, but he's a one shot. I mean, he's three like three hit points. War God's got him auto aimed, and I'm sure I'm assuming he's probably just now at the end of his reload. Now he's just trying to get a trying to get the angle on him just right, 
because he can't afford to miss them. Boom! Victory! Raise your PP high. Way to go, man. You carried us. So, we won. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing we won. Um, yeah, I would have liked to have killed him there at the end, but it is what it is. No sense of crying over it, but um, it's just, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I got high caliber, four kills, so it was a good game. Teamwork is what uh, ultimately won that game. So there's a lot of things I could have done better. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm doing my best trying to learn from my mistakes and not repeat them. That's, that's all you can do. Y'all, thank you so much for coming and checking out my channel. And uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And if the video wasn't complete, utter garbage, uh, please hit that like button and, and uh, leave me a comment. That would be really cool. Um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you're looking for if anybody out there, you know, you have a really cool replay and you'd like to have a, a video made by, for it, um, please hit me up and leave me a comment or send me an email with the replay and I'd be happy to do one for you. Um, thank you so much. Y'all take care and have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.